Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of Notification Squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get to the information. Let's get to the story with Pole Star Angela Ross was out here basically in a relationship and found out that her man was out here, you know, got a kid on the side and got a fiance too as well. And it, it just hit the blogs. It hit Jasmine Brand, page six. I mean, and on top of that, Angela Ross was on Twitter basically letting everybody know that was con she was conceived she was you know there was some fraudulent activities going on angela ross basically took to twitter to let everybody know what the deal was and how it has affected her life so it is what it is so let's just get into this situation i was like mm, mm, mm. baby it's going down so angela ross was on twitter and basically you know an instagram she posted a picture of her new boo her and you know what I mean just happy and sharing it with the world because they finally made it official that they was a couple so therefore Angela Ross went to Twitter went to Instagram posted a picture of her boo thing and then the next day Twitter Instagram FBI they did a search and they found out that this man is on the DL he's living on the low low and he's engaged and he has a child too as well and he knows that star angela ross is a trans woman too as well because you know all you got to do is google go to wicca and watch the tv show pose you'll know what's up so this man knew what he was getting into and everything else like that and getting with a star like angela ross that's on different you know tv shows and and different movies too as well and thinking that okay you can live on a dl you can live on a download but no twitter and instagram found out all the information and basically, it hit the fan, and Angela Ross ended up talking to his fiance and talking to the mother of his child. Basically, no one knew that he was on a DL until he got with Angela Ross, and she posted the picture on Instagram and Twitter. Then it came out, and basically, Andrew and Angelica Ross was very upset, and she wanted to go on Instagram Live and let everybody know what was going on and what happened and how Angela Ross was deceived and everything else like that, feeling a certain type of way and basically shocked and surprised. And at the same time, you know, it could possibly affect her career of people thinking that she's going after down low men or anything else like that so you know angela ross wanted to make it clear to let the world know that i did not know that this joker you know had a fiance and a baby on the side too as well and so the situation just hit the fan and it exploded i was like damn this is just so tragic it's just a sad situation where we still have these men on 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 the dl out here living their life pleasing their pleasures their desires and everything they want to do and they don't care who they inf who they affect who they hurt who they destroy and what type of you know chaos that they believe bring to a situation because they want to satisfy their needs they want to have their cake and eat it too and it's just awful it's just really a damn shame that you don't know the man that you get and what you think that you know he's all into you and want to be with you and everything else like that but he got a deep dog secret he got a secret that he don't want to share with nobody he don't share with the world he don't share with his family his mother his brother his sister his auntie his employers his best friends no, but he's out here doing his thing. And basically, you thinking that you got a man that's into you and want to be with you and promise you all this and that. And you possibly could be having unprotected sex with this man. And he's out here running the streets, um, you know, on a DL, whether he's with trans women, whether he's with the boys or whatever. And then he comes home to you and act like everything's amazing and everything is all good. And then you get the shock of a lifetime that this man that you thought that loved you, you thought that you knew everything about him and it ain't true. It's propaganda. It's false because, you know, he's in the same thing that you're into but just don't want to tell you because he wants to have his cake and eat it too and he think he can get away with it they, they think that living in a dark it ain't gonna come into light whatever you do in a dark baby does come to light and it came to light and yes he's out here and everybody knows who he is and they did research on him because they wanted to make sure that angela ross was with the right person or they just wanted to be nosy because people was nosy so sometimes you don't even need to do a background check just post a picture 
of someone that you wear if you are popular and then people would do the background search for you and so therefore his story his lies and his deceit whoever this man is has been exposed to the world and it is what it is and luckily Angela Ross is away from him where he cannot attack her or do anything to her. And hopefully his fiance and the mother of his children, they go get tested and they bounce and, and everything else like that. Angela Ross says that she has not had, you know, sexual relations with him and anything else like that. I don't know that if that's true or not, but that's what Angela Ross is saying too as well, that they had no sexual contact, but they end up getting into a relationship without consummating their relationship by having, you know, intercourse. I don't know if they had any other type of sexual things going on. And how long has this man been out here deceiving his fiance, deceiving people, deceiving his baby's mother, his children's mother? I mean, just out here doing the most. It's a sad situation, and it's really just, you know, horrible. And I just wish these DL guys can have the confidence and be secure and just live their truth. The world could be coming to an end. We don't know. We got the coronavirus. We got everything out here in these streets, and you never know. And people are more susceptible to, you know, um, the LGBT community too as well. So live your truth. Don't don't destroy somebody else's life because you can't live in your truth because you can't face the music because you don't want to stand up and let people know who you are. If that's the case, if you don't want to do that, then you know what? Don't get into a relationship with somebody. Don't get into a relationship. Stay single. Stay single. Be truthful. Be honest. Like, damn, that's all people are asking for. You want a relationship. You want to start something real. But basically behind all that is a lie because you are into both worlds or maybe just into one world, and which is part of the LGBT community. And then you want to pretend like you are part of the the you know to be a part of like you're a straight person like you're a straight male you know what i mean and it's just messed up and you know sometimes we got to start when the children are little letting them know that we love you regardless of what you are you know what you're attracted to what you desire and let them know that they'll be loved unconditionally and you won't turn the doors on them when it comes to your cousin when it comes to your auntie the grandmother grandfather mother and father show them love show them that whatever it is that that you desire we are here for you whatever your sexual desires are so therefore they can feel like they got the love at home and then they can also go out in the world and not be ashamed or not have to hide and not be on a dl you know sometimes we got to start with our children we got to start with our family members to let them know whatever you are whatever you desire we still love you so hopefully that they will live in their truth because you know they they hurt people you know, hurt people hurt people. And so therefore being on a DL, you're hurting somebody. You know, when you get you get into a relationship and you have children and you get married knowing damn well that you don't want this person, you really don't want to be with this person at all, but yet you are just because you don't want to face the music, just because you don't want to live in your truth and other people are affected by that. So it just it's just really, you know, a hurtful, sad situation. But right now Angela Ross is living in her truth and she's letting the world know what's up and what's been going on for real for real and ain't taking up ain't taking a bull crap not one bit at all so you guys tell me what you think about this situation and it's like Angela Ross was basically happy that she was in a relationship and she found a new boo and a new man and she wanted to share it with her subscribers her supporters you know her followers and she did her seven seven um 73,000 followers on Twitter and then basically you know her Twitter followers you know did some research and did some investigation and they found out that he is engaged baby they probably know his social security number and everything so what what you think you're getting away with something by doing it in the dark no live your truth just be honest because you're hurting people you're deceiving people and you have if you can't live in your truth and you can be sec secure in who you are well then therefore you should not date anybody until you get yourself together go get some counseling go get some help go talk to somebody instead of ruining someone else's life because of your because of your feelings, because of how you feel people are going to look at you or judge you. You know what I mean? Like, why bring somebody else into your mess? You know, get yourself together before you get into a relationship with somebody. For real, for real. And, you know, and the, the, D, the DL situation is a big thing because any one of us could be dating someone on a DL and not know. And we're putting our heart 
and our life and danger too as well, especially if we find out what are they going to do to us if we feel like we're hurt and we want to tell our mother, our sister, our brother, you know, our family members, our friends, what are they going to do to us if they find, if they know that we told their secret, even though they deceived us and lied to us too as well. So it's really a sad situation for real, for real. And, um, hopefully, and hopefully Angela, Angelica Ross did not fall in love with this man because, ooh, he is a corn artist and he's very deceitful, thinking he's going to get away with this, being with someone that has a career in Hollywood that is a star and on the show Pose. And Pose is like basically based on, you know, Paris is Burning. And I watched the movie a couple of years ago and I was introduced to the movie Paris is Burning from the conscious community because they describe Paris Burning as the innovators of the fashion world that they believed that they were taken out so they wouldn't do the things that they wanted to do because the, the fashion world would have been totally black if you watch Paris is Burning. And this is the conscious community bigging up Paris is Burning, the movie. And now we have the TV show, the series that's on Fox. So you guys tell me what you think about this situation. And not only is this DL, you know, guys out here and we've been talking about this, you know, it's been going on for two days. We got Andrew Gillum. Gillum. Basically, he's out here doing the most. He was out here at the hotel, partying, chilling, doing everything under the sun, baby. And he was out here just showing, just showing, just showing off. I mean, he was just out here just doing it, baby. Doing it. He was out in a hotel with a with a escort and another man too as well in a hotel doing allegedly you know mess you know what i'm saying and then you know that's talking about he was he was basically unconscious the other you know um male that was involved in the situation was unconscious too as well as three males in a room and basically they was engaged allegedly in sexual activities there was blood there was mucus there was juices all over the place there was everything and Andrew Gillum is married and been married for a decade and basically been lying to his wife and doing all this and everything out there. No, you know, he was living a secret, but he got exposed and he was on the DL. And that's just terrible for his kids and his wife to find out this way that their father, that they probably looked up to because a former mayor running for governor, now is in a scandal caught in a hotel room with two with two men one is an escort intoxicated under drugs under the influence of alcohol and you know methamphetamines and when you're under the influence of them type of drugs you know you don't usually think about protection or using protection and you don't care who you're doing it with because you're in this fantasy world because you know you think you're invisible because you're under these drugs and imagine I know his wife must feel a certain type of way. She must be scared, nervous, everything. She must have ran to the hospital, get a test, because he's out here with escorts, paying for sex. And that can't, allegedly, that can't be his first time. This tryst that Andrew Gillen was caught in the hotel with, this ain't his first time. And this damn sure ain't his going to be his last time. So imagine how long he's been out here having sex with escorts and under the influence of of drugs and alcohol too as well he didn't care about his family he didn't care about his kids the only thing he cared about was his need and then the attention he wanted to get and the power that he wanted to get by being in office and being a political mover and shaker so right now you know he's going to rehab and everything else like that but that doesn't excuse the fact of you lying and being very deceitful about who you are you're trying to betray that you're a heterosexual male you have this loving family and you have this wife and these guys are tight knit and you're this you know top notch you know christian type of guy and you're not because you're out here getting hoy in hotel room and doing all types of stuff I imagine what this man has been doing over the years and imagine who he has been doing it with and imagine how he brought his nasty self home and laid up in his wife's bed i wonder if he took a shower before he done jumped in the bed with his wife and hugged up on her like lord have mercy you never know what you're getting out here in these streets so you got to be very careful sometimes you got to be your own pi sometimes you got to do your own thing for real for real but this is a sad situation because you know the people that are being real, the people and the women that are being real, the women that are being honest and basically living their truth and telling their partner what they want, but their partner is out here lying and being deceitful and basically doing whatever they want to do as long as they can have their cake and eat it too. 
I mean, it's just really a, a really bad situation for real, for real. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation and how you feel about this. And have you ever been with a guy that's on the DL? And do you know anybody that been with a man on a DL? And how was their life affected by the situation? So you guys tell me what you think. Please leave your comments below and let me know what's up and what's going on. So peace. I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples. Peep squad is in a building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of notification squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. Peace. I'm out. One love.